Hi, it's Paul Feuerstein here, technology editor of Dentistry Today. And I'm here with a good friend, Don Hobbs. Paul, how are you? It's great to see you. Great. Don. Don is with Henry Schein, and Don and I have been following technology since probably the first PC showed up in an office. No kidding. And then we got real excited when Developer and Fixer was improved and better and better. <laughs> and then we said, hey, how about this little thing we can do instead of Developer and Fixer, and so on and so on. So, uh, speaking of radiology, um, Radiology has taken on a new life. I mean, my, my, my senses were great, my pain was great, but what do we have now? Right, we, we got this animal called cone beam, right? And it's frightening to a lot of dentists because when the cone beams first came out, you were looking at a, almost a $200,000 investment exactly. and you're sitting exactly. there going, what in the world do I need this for? I'm not a maxillofacial surgeon, I'm just a general dentist. And the industry listened very carefully and right. Don, people like Don were very instrumental in saying, hey, what can we do for the docs, the GPs, the specialists, the endodontists, the periodontists? Is there some other way to take care of it? So how's it, how's it evolved and what's going on? You know, Paul, great question. What I've always referred to whenever I talk about cone beam, especially with a general practitioner, is look, this is a gateway product. Even if you're not doing ortho, implant, airway, any of that now, this product's gonna give you the ability to do whatever you choose to do as your practice grows, as your skills grow and improve. It's just such a, uh, become such a main part of the office that that's why it's so important when a doctor comes to us and says, hey, I'm looking for a pan. We always say, you know, doctor, we're Henry Schein, right? We pride ourselves on, uh, on all the solutions we bring. We, we really have this mantra of rely on us. And we really talk to our reps and say to them, make sure you ask the questions. Doctor, do me a favor. Take a look at this thing called cone beam before you go invest in a pan. And, and, and it's and nothing and against pans, No, because no, right? they're responsible to well. It's an extra thirty, forty thousand dollars 40000 And you say, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And there's no going back. Correct. There is no going back. Correct. You know, oftentimes we'll work with, um, you know, we consider ourselves trusted advisors, right? So we'll work with our customers and they'll buy a panoramic and six months later, they're literally like, I just went to my friend's office and darn, I wish, yep. you know what, we'll, we'll figure it out. You know, that's just how Henry Shine works. That's why we're, we consider ourselves partners to the practice, but it's so important for them to, to get into this technology because of what it does for their patients, for, for their, the level of additional care they're able to provide and to see in these images is incredible. It's game changing. Well, it's basic diagnosis, and it's very, very flashy to the patient sometimes, because right. when you do the 3D reconstruction sometimes, if you want to see bone loss, man, if you see bone loss on a comey, they go, wow, I get it now. I really can see the bone loss on the computer. And they're not going to see that on a regular not, panoramic. Not a chance, right? and you can't explain it either. Right. And then especially uh, a lot of my friends are endodontists, and a lot of my friends do in-office in endo. And you're missing all sorts, you're missing MB2 canals, you're missing all sorts of things. Pathology, you see an area, where is that area? Is it buccal, is it lingual? If you're thinking of doing a, even some surgery, where do you go in? You don't have to make a gigantic window because you know exactly where you're headed for it. Wow, that's great. You know what we also see is a, a really impactful change. The price of the units have. I'm not going to use the term come down. They're just more at a reasonable price now. Or if you want to start even with a basic, you know, just small field of view, single, single, well, explain, single. Let's implant. explain that real quickly. What field of view is all about? Okay, so um, they're small to medium to extended field of roof to an entire headshot. If you're doing orthodontics, right, you, you want to see everything. What we mostly sell at Henry Shine and recommend to our, our um, real general dental uh, customers is pretty much you're getting condyles down. You're getting that whole mandible shot and at the, the bottom end of the X spectrum is you're getting just the small single implant. But all the machines nowadays, Paul, you just upgrade. As you grow and change, you can upgrade. And the other thing is if you buy the lot, something that's large, you can zoom it down, zoom it in. Right. So, I mean, the endodontists, I have to say, a lot of the endodontists are just going to get a limited field because they're not going to be doing Correct. multiple teeth. They're not doing cross arch. But when you're a GP, you say, well, I only do quadrant dentistry. Once we start talking about implants, you're doing overdentures, right. things like that. That's full arch. So you can't. I mean, you can do it, you can upgrade it, as you said, but you have to think a little bit of what you're doing today, but where are you going with all this? And that's where you figure your needs. You know, we're, we've been in, we were the first complete distributor in the cone beam space. Remember the original oh, ICAT yeah, yeah, sure. 15 years ago, yeah. right? So and we, look at it. we have prided ourselves on really developing our sales force to really understand that. So when they're talking to our customers, they can really help advise them and what their practice needs are. And then they can really, that trusted advisor of Henry Schein can really work with the doctor on what they want to get for the practice, the right product. And, and also you, you, you start seeing things that you never saw before and you get involved with procedures you never thought you were going to do in your lifetime. There's right. so many dentists now are, are placing implants, they never thought about doing it at all. Oh, yeah. I can say, exactly. well, you can do this, you can do guided yeah. surgery, you can do this, that, and the other thing. And they go, wow. And talk, so is there, talk about a return on investment? It's not only is it monetary, it's, it's your whole practice, it's your patient care. And that's, that's what that shine is all about. You know, something we've learned also, and I know you know this, 
we talk to the doctors about return on investment after we talk about the medicine, because if they're not sold on the medicine and what it does for their patients, ROI doesn't mean anything, right? The ROI is an added benefit to owning a comium in your practice. And, and, and Shrine has an educational arm too that, we, that helps the doctor understand how all this works too. Correct, correct. We have not just on this, but across all facets of dentistry, both online, in person, in classroom, however that, that customer wants to learn more and expand, Shine can provide that. So, so if a dentist really wants to get a little bit more in depth, and then not at a dental show like the New York meeting or the mm -hmm. Chicago meeting or something like that, who do they go to? So we have a variety of KOLs, key opinion leaders around the U.S., whether in office or they will come to them. So we really have that network set up where you're never going to be alone. You choose Henry Shine as your primary supplier, you're never going to be alone. That's really great. Well, you know, Don, we could spend two hours talking about combing, but time is there. So Good to see you, my friend. Really good to see you. Thanks for everything. Hey, thanks a lot.